Now, it might be Valentine Valentine's Day, but it doesn't mean we have to get all schmaltzy and girly and yeah, pewy pewy. Men's issues are very real, and it's something we have to deal with, and we found just the brain's trust to do it. In fact, these guys are going to be spreading the word about all men's issues at the Baxter from the 5th to the 23rd of February. It's definitely worth a look. They tell me it's brilliant. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Nigel Pierce, Stuart Taylor, and Kurt Skrinrod. You guys look like brothers, actually. Have you ever, have you? Oh, no, that's no, you don't. You were doing no, no, so no, well. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Just no. because we're white. <laughs> Bryce, 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 Bryce. <laughs> you, you look like bros. Oh, right? we look like bros. Bryce. Okay, that, that bros. Works. That's Good fine. save, well done. I mean, this is a fantastic dynamic. How did you guys find each other to do this show and why now? I think that's Nigel's, Nigel's answer. Appropriately, on a Thursday, we interview South African comedians. And a couple of months ago, Stuart was on the show and he said to me, I'm writing the show. Would you be keen to be part of the show alongside Kurt Skunrod? And I said no. And then he took me out for dinner, <laughs> took me out for lunch, took me overseas. He promised me a rundavel at Nkandla. Ah. And that's when I said yes. So here I am. So it was a day. And I'm on the show. It was a day. It was a day and live you're on still air. Still paying, paying your dues correct, now. Yeah. Correct. Correct. It's quite. It's quite an interesting dynamic because uh, Nigel is known as quite an outspoken uh, jock, and, uh, and and so we just thought it would be nice to shake things up. Kurt and I are used to doing one-man shows, so we went, you know, how can we challenge each, uh, our, ourselves? For myself and Kurt, that meant doing a show where we're not alone on stage, we're relying on someone Which else. It's kind of weird, you've got to pass uh, along that? a ball, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah. But it's cool. It's, Trust it's issues. Great. It's Trust issues, guys. Yes. Yeah. 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 And Indeed. This is your brainchild. Happy radio day for yesterday, Correct. by the way. Correct, there you go. Dude, I can L see you just, you know, having your voice put out there. Absolutely. How, how did the concept come about? I, I know it's a lot of subject matter that we all deal with, but where did that little seed come from? Well, we sat down we, and we kind of workshopped the idea that, you know, we want to do a show together, what will it be about? And we started getting, well, what is the common ground for the three of us? And I think we, we realized that we, we all had a point in our lives where we, we were kind of grappling with, with with whether or not we, we, we're becoming extinct <laughs> as a species. Oh, you know, do yeah. men still have a are place about in the men? world? Are you oh, talking no, no, about men, comedians? Men, are you no, talking men, about men in, general? men in general? It seems as if somehow we've become a little obsolete. A little you know? redundant, yeah. Oh, a little, just a little bit. You know, if it wasn't for the hi fi at home, I'm not sure if my, my missus would actually need me. Yeah. Oh, besides besides plugging in the DVD player yeah. when the cable comes out, that's about it so that I've been doing. You guys are funny, so you know, you're good to have around. Well, funny are you funny when you're off stage, though? Well, we get that question all the time. No, it's dead serious. I, I got that. I was waiting for the humor no, no, no. to kick in. <laughs> no. Now, this is a wonderful balance of personalities. What's that been like, finding a way to collaborate? Nigel, I think these you. guys have been absolutely fantastic. I'm way out of my comfort zone. And, you know, when Stuart approached me, I thought long and hard about it. And I said to myself towards the end of last year, nothing ventured, nothing gained. You know, what, what is there to lose out of this? And they have been absolutely fantastic in guiding me, in holding my hand. In fact, I got a rose from uh, Stuart this morning oh, at half past five, wow. uh, which I thought was very, very sweet. And it was actually for my wife. You, you just took it out of my car. I did? <laughs> oh, it's not stolen. It's stolen, in fact. And as, as a brochure. They, did, yeah. Know. And, and they've been guiding me and telling me, you know, how theatre works, how comedy works. So I've picked up all kinds of tricks from them. And it's, it's, it's been a massive learning curve over the last uh, three, three, four months. I'm sure you've learned a lot about yourselves and the species oh, as we've, well. We've, mm. we've, we've, we've learned so much. And what's really cool is our audiences have kind of responded to it. Um, so they so get what it is that we're trying to get across. And that's just so cool. It's, it's very different, you know, being yeah. on stage with a, another group of people, usually up there alone, and to pass the ball and the punchline along, it's great. It's a, it's a, a nice mean, change of pace, man. It yeah. is. The show is, is almost an anti-stand-up show. The show has got... It's oh, like an hour like and a half. Thing. It's an hour and a half show. Kurt does about 10 minutes worth of stand-up. I do about 10 minutes worth of stand-up. And the rest of it, we literally just get up on stage and have fun. It's a, a massive chunk which is improvised every night. Uh, they, they I part, like they, the sound they, of they, that. They sketches. They, I, mean, I think it, we, really we might, might get night you guys to do a little improv to help show the men. <clears throat> what Fair they enough. should be doing on Valentine's Day. Guys, great to have you in studio. Congratulations. Buy awesome, my DVD. awesome, awesome bag. <laughs> Buy Not my DVD. DVD. We're going to take a quick ad break. We'll be back with a lot of fun for Valentine's Day. Go and do something special for your missus quickly and then come back. We'll see you now.